gets down totally unopposed. You know, again, something that we saw an issue for Itemize in the last game where they'll be pegged over and over from, like, the side from their flanks. They won't notice it. They won't turn. Ooh, grenade kill. Finishes off the wrap. <laughs> but uh, that awareness needs to change for Itemize. That's uh, costing them. They lost two of their guys to the rain of rockets without ever returning a shot at the guy uh, dishing out the damage. And we got a quick, quick uh, advantage here for blue. Let's see if I can find the Just a quick I comment. Have. I think the stream quality went down a bit. Yeah, I'm looking over here, and it, it did hiccup. Hopefully it'll pop back up. The thing is, FOJ is just putting so much pressure on them from the front that when they're getting hit by the side, they can't even like, pay attention. Because they, they've got... Was... Yeah. And by the way, for those that don't know, that is uh, Fish Sticks, who is a staff member here at Quake Live TV. And uh, appreciate him offering analysis and commentary here. Apparently my transmit to... button sucks. Well, I wanted to make sure to introduce you there, Fish, because I'm not sure everyone knows your voice by now. Hi, everybody. Wins the round. Oh, and... I demise taking a round. They are not giving up easily. This is a tight round. Four yeah, to five. Much tighter than Asylum. I'm loving it. And we got Plasma raining in by FOJ across the rocket launcher spawn. And they push into bridge. Um, Clamp taking the stairwell to try to get away from Nautical's rail. And FOJ clears out Itemize. Extends their lead by two, but still a very close game here. Clear yourselves in a lot of trouble. Oh, though he's able to take down the hang. I uh, did not expect that. Refuse trying to get back up to the. Uh... Oh, wow. Oh, he just three. got annihilated there. He was in that in the center of the room there and just had. <laughs> Hides from I demise on all sides, running down all sorts of hell on him. Yeah, like vultures jumping the gun, not waiting until he's dead. There's LG double up, down goes Clamp. Beautiful uh, cells displacement there by all mental. And he gets railed there, two and two. Isla, we're not able to land his rails there. Uh, it's a long distance shoddy kill though. Nautical only has 5 HP. Yeah. Ice Lord Ice bringing home. another shoddy kill. Nice job by Ice Lord. Again, alright, all out mayhem on this bridge. Nice lineup by Clearacell. Getting the, some nice wall splash damage. Although he goes down to a doubled up LG. And wow, we're quickly into two and two here. Ice Lord joined by a teammate, tossing nades down into that stairwell. See if you, yeah, we're gonna see a little uh, pincer action. Nice teamwork there. Ice Lord stayed Jay up top. Pulling their act together. They're slowly pulling away now. It's eight to five. Foj having a three-round lead. And it looks like we're gonna have Ice Lord pushing in on Nautical. And there's a pair of red guys running into each other, and Ice Lord capitalizes, picking up at least two. Getting uh, two frags in two seconds, very nice. With the LG, no doubt. Yeah, FOJ, now they're pushing up and have a nine round win. They only need this one last round to win. Let's see if they can do it. They have control of the bridge right now. Three and three. And actually now, Red has the man up, two man up, and three yeah, man like, up, and they win it three to zero. They're not done. They're not done. The rounds tally is nine to six. I watch Perfuse, which uh, what could be the final round of, of this matchup here. Yeah, nice, he's not getting really... a nice few kills there, going up a man. It's tied again. I and once again, I demise. Pulls it out! Pulls Bring it into a two round These game. rounds are hella quick. 
These guys do not want to leave this bridge alone, and everyone congregates there. It's like calling. Party. Now we got all mental peeking around the quarters, snagging a rail. And nice and they lay some LG. There it is, clamp. Uh, getting shafted by Raw. And we're down to two. Shafts and one. all over. Oh, wow. All out yeah, chaos here up. as these teams start off with just a melee of rockets and then finish it off with a like, freaking lightning storm. Indeed. Now, this time, it looks, it looks like uh, FOJ's got the height advantage here. The hang's uh, staying up there. And all mental. Yeah, but I, I Demise is sticking together and using those LGs and those huge groups, and it's just working for them. And they have the man advantage. Clamp is the last guy left. They can tie this up here. Clamp running away. Down to 32 health and on the run. And he oh -ho -ho! jumps straight into the nose. Jody took him out of yeah. the air. Put him in his place. This is it, guys. Final round for either team. 9-9. Nine and nine. This has been a great matchup here. And uh, this is for all the marbles and kittens. This is all over the place. Neither team is very coordinated or centralized right now. FOJ's got the all two man advantage mayhem. here. And they might. Yeah, one more. Rawl is the last guy standing. He's got to pull through two more guys. He's out of 10 health and pulled oh, down. Oh, and there it is. Rawl attempting to save it for his team. Can't do it. FOJ comes out on top. GG's right there. What Short a game. Marble. What? Mm. That was good times right there. Very, uh, Profuse is saying he was bugged. Not quite sure what he means by that, but it was a great game nonetheless. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed our little shoutcast here. And um, uh, do we have any chance to get one of these guys in for the post game? If they want to come in, I'll post on their IRC channel real quick. Yeah, please. All right, well, Matt, let me get some feedback from you, man. Uh, front and center, what were your thoughts there? Because honestly, I thought FOJ had it in the bag, and then. I demise was just coming back. They're like, you know what? We're like eh, four, five rounds down. Not a problem. Let's tie this shit up at nine to nine. And uh, they were just uh, pounding, pounding FOJ uh, until that final round. They just, I think they got a little too excited, maybe a little nervous, and uh, and couldn't quite, uh, you know, capitalize on everything. Similar to the uh, comeback we saw by I demise Ra Raul earlier today. Yeah. I definitely, you could kind of tell, I mean, I'm assuming that, uh, that FOJ picked Asylum and that I Demise picked Campgrounds because it definitely, that seemed to be where the advantages were. You kind of saw in I Demise that some of their teamwork was a little bit off, but once they got their team working together, they just pulled it in round after round, but then, you know, I think it kind of showed off a little bit there that, uh, they didn't quite have their starters that, like they were used to, and so they were little bit on edge yeah and another thing to consider is that the strategy there for FOJ I thought was I mean it was consistent they really didn't do anything else but it paid off for them where they would pick one spot on the map and you know it seemed like the strategy was get there before the countdowns over because <laughs> uh, we saw them you know always picking the height advantage always picking the platforms uh, and, uh, and it paid off for them because they were basically able to just play defensively um, uh, with a little bit more offensive rail tactics there on uh, Asylum. But on uh, DM6, it was mostly about just holding that bridge and, uh, and not giving it up no matter what. Definitely. Yeah, will do. And I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna close the prediction poll and I'm gonna put up a uh, player of the match poll for you guys to vote on who you thought the MVP was. Right on. So, stay tuned here. Uh, hopefully, we will get this stuff sorted out and uh, find out whether or not there is another match coming up. So, uh, stay tuned, and we might have more Quake Live coming your way. We'll let you know in just a minute. <laughs> 